And other people, the Bible says that they started to accuse them, to bring accusations. And then the Bible goes on to say that Peter got up and spoke. And please follow me and follow me quickly. We're going to go into what happened after this. Peter gets up and says, listen, these people are not drunk. It is only nine o'clock in the morning. But what you see here is what was spoken and prophesied in the, in the Bible, in, in the Word of God. What was spoken by the prophets. The prophets said that in the last days, God will pour out His Spirit upon all men. The young men, uh, sons and daughters, will prophesy. So Peter talks to them and tells them what happened. Now, the Bible goes on to say, and this is where I want to get to my message, that the people that heard Peter speak, the Bible says that they were pierced in their heart, and they asked them, what shall we do? So after they don't understand what happens, Peter gets up and he preaches to them. He explains to them what happened. The Bible says that they were touched by the power of God in their heart. And they said, okay, fine. We believe it. Now what do we do? We heard the word of God. We believe what we hear. We believe you, brother Peter. Now what shall we do? Chesaphatim. Now what? And Peter says to them, Repent, number one. Repent, two. And get baptized, amen. And three, after that, you shall also receive the gift of the Spirit. These are key things, key steps. And now I want to read from Acts chapter 2, verse 41. After Peter tells them, repent. Get baptized, and you shall also receive the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2, verse 41, if you guys can put it up there. Then they that get gladly received His word, these are the people that heard the word, were what? Were baptized, and that same day 3,000 were added to them. Now remember this number. 3,000 people. So again, let me recap for you. The Holy Spirit comes down. They don't understand what's going on. They're starting to make fun of them. Peter gets up and says, hey, these people are not drunk. This is the power of God that was promised. And, the, uh, and God fulfilled his promise. The people they heard believed. They asked Peter, what shall we do? Peter said, you, if you believe, you got to repent. You got to get baptized in water. And then you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's exactly what happened. And that day, those who received the word were about 3,000 people. And they were added to the body of Christ. Now keep this in mind. 3,000 people were added to the body of Christ. Now, that's the first day that we're talking about. Now we go back to Exodus, and we're talking about the day of the law. What happened this day? The Bible tells us that Moses is up on a mountain. God said, come up on a mountain, and I will give you the law. I will tell my people what to do and what not to do. So uh, uh, Moses goes up on a mountain. Joshua's waiting for him halfway down on the mountain. And after 40 days, Moses is coming down. And as they go down uh, back to the valley, they, they hear a noise. And Joshua says, man, Moses, maybe there's a war down in the valley. And they, 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 they hurry up and they rush. And as they get closer, Moses said, this doesn't sound like a word, like a war, because I hear these people sing. There's a party downstairs. They go down, and what do they see? You remember the story. True story in the Bible. They have made themselves, for themselves, a false god, a golden calf. They worship it. They're all just drunk, and they're just, they're just turning their back on God. And Moses said to them, I went up on a mountain. God gave me the law for you. And look what you do. Look what you're doing. And then I want to read from Exodus chapter 32, verse 26 and 28. Listen to what happened here. So he, Exodus chapter 32, verse 26 
and 28. Guys up there, if you can. There you go. So he, that talks about Moses, what did he do? He stood at the door of the camp and he said, after he saw what these people did, Moses said, okay, enough is enough. He stood at the door and said, whoever is for the Lord, come to me. In other words, he said, you know, if you're with me and you're for the Lord, come over on this side. And some people came over on this side, but some people did not. Verse 28 said that those who didn't come on the Lord's side, let me read to you. The Levites did as Moses commanded, and that day about how many? 3,000 people died. Now you remember that number, 3,000, right? Sounds familiar. We just read that 3,000 people. On the, so uh, on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 people are added to the body of Christ. On the day of the law, 3,000 people died. What's my point here? My point in this, and think about it. The day of the Pentecost, 3,000 men uh, uh, the day of the law, let's start with the day of the law. The day of the law in the Old Testament, 3,000 men lost their lives and their souls. And on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 men were saved. And this is very symbolic. Because both of these groups of people... The 3,000 people at the day of the law and the 3,000 people in the day of the Pentecost, they had something in common. All of them, and please pay attention, all of them heard the word of the Lord. Amen. And all of them had a choice. They heard, both of them did. The, the people in the Old Testament, they heard the uh, word of the Lord and they had a choice. And the people in the New Testament and the day of Pentecost, they heard the word of the Lord and they had a choice. But they didn't choose the same. And therefore, in the Old Testament, 3,000 people die because they turned their back on God. And in the New Testament, on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 people were added and were saved. Why? Because they obeyed the word of the Lord. So don't tell me it doesn't matter what you do. No, it matters what you do. It matters how you choose to live your life. Amen. So very quickly, and I'm going to close. There are some steps, easy steps for salvation. And if you guys can put them up there on the screen. These are easy steps for salvation. And I didn't write this. It's in a Bible in the book of Acts. This is what happened to the 3,000 people that, that, that were added to the body of Christ on the day of Pentecost. Number one, they heard the gospel of Jesus. Amen. That's the first thing you do. And for those of you who never heard it, well, guess what? You just heard it right now. And I'm going to tell it to you again. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came down to earth, lived a holy life, died on the cross for your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the world, rose from the dead, went to be with the Father, and is waiting for you to give Him your heart. That's the message of the gospel. You just heard it. Amen. If you never heard it before, well, you just heard it now. First thing, you got to hear it. These people heard. Number two, after you hear it, you got to believe it. Because I can be up here and sweat my uh, uh, shirt off. And, 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 uh, but if you don't believe me, it doesn't matter. I can tell you ten times. Anybody can preach to you as loud and as, as, as good as they can. If you don't believe it, it's up to you. You got to not just hear it, but you got to believe it. Amen. Number two. Number, these people believed. After they heard, the Bible says that they believed. Number three. After you believe, you got to repent. Amen. Because it ain't enough for you to hear, and it's not enough for you to believe. No, no, no. You got to repent. Number four, after you hear, after you believe, after you repent, you got to do what? Get baptized in water. Listen, this is not a suggestion. This is not just a good idea. No, this is a command. Jesus said, if you believe, repent, and are baptized, you will be saved. Number four, you got to get baptized in water. Amen. Number five, 
The Bible says that after they believed, after they heard, they believed, they repented, they get baptized in water. The Bible says that they were at it. They were afosta daugats. After that. Not before. Well, brother Adi, what are you trying to say that if, I'm, if I heard the gospel and I believe and I repented and I'm not baptized, I'm not added? I don't know. The Bible doesn't talk about Christians who heard the gospel, believed in it, repented, and never got baptized. There's only one in the Bible, the Telhar or the Pakruj. He didn't have a chance. If you don't get that, listen, listen, listen to me. If you heard the gospel of Jesus, you believe in it, you repent it, and you are not yet baptized in water, you better have a good excuse when Jesus returns. Amen. I don't know what to tell you. The Bible doesn't give us too many examples. No. The people of the Bible, after they heard, after they believed, after they repented, they got baptized in water. Even Jesus did it. What excuse do you have? I don't know. So if, listen, if you're sitting there, you consider yourself pokeit, but you're not yet baptized in water, man, you better get baptized in water and do it quick, amen. It's the Bible. Because only after they were baptized, they were at it. Number five, they were at it. And number six, verse 42, they continued to follow God. Because it ain't enough for you. Verse 42. Let, let, listen to what the Bible says. And they, after they were baptized, they did what? They continued steadfastly. I like that word. That means they continue and they keep on continuing. Amen. That's bad English, but it's good message, right? They continue. They didn't stop. You don't stop after you get baptized. No, you continue to follow God. Amen. So... Go on to the last slide, please. You will ask me what happened, because there's a, a few categories of people in this world. There's people, there are people who never hear, right? What happens to them? That's God's business. But uh, you shouldn't care about it, because if you never heard the gospel of Jesus, you just heard it tonight. I just told it to you a few minutes ago. So don't worry about the people that never heard. You're not one of them. You heard the message of the gospel. There are people who never heard. We're not talking about them tonight. God's going to deal with them. He has his way to do it. Then there are people who hear, but they never believe. What happens to them? Exactly what happened to the people in the day of the law. They heard, but they did not believe God. What happened to them? They died. 3,000 men died that day. Why? They heard, but they didn't believe. Then there are people who hear and believe but they never get baptized. What happens to them? We just talked about it. I, I don't know. Hey, I'm baptized. I'm happy I'm baptized. Amen. If you're not baptized, you better find out what happens to you. Because in the Bible, like I said, there's not too many examples. If you believe in Jesus, man, what stops you to get baptized in water? And then there are those people who hear. Keep it up there. Keep it up there, guys. Who hear, believe, get baptized, but they never continue. Never continue. And all of these steps are vital. Very, very important in your walk with God. You got to hear the gospel. You just heard it. You got to believe it. It is up to you to believe it or not. After you believe it, you got to repent. Amen. After you repent, you got to get baptized in water. It's a command. It's not a suggestion. After you get baptized in water, you are added to the body of Christ. Amen. And after you are added to the body of Christ, you continue to follow God. Amen.